Praise God. Pleasant good morning to everyone this morning. Praise God. David said it's good for us to be in the house of the Lord this morning. Glory to God. And I give him thanks for another opportunity, another day to come into his courts. Hallelujah. Glory to God. His word said we should enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. We should be thankful unto him and bless his name. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. So at this time, I'm just going to invite everybody just to stand. Hallelujah. As we offer up thanksgiving unto our God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Give him a sacrifice of praise this morning. Bless him this morning. The one, hallelujah. Who brought you into his courts. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Glory to God. Father, we thank you this morning for your grace. God, we thank you for your mercy. God, we thank you this morning that we're not consumed. Hallelujah. We thank you this morning for life. God, we thank you for health. We thank you for strength. God, we thank you this morning for your peace. Glory to God. We thank you for your joy this morning. We thank you, God Almighty, for your grace this morning, which continue to speak for us. We thank you, mighty God. We enter your gates with thanksgiving. We're so thankful this morning. So much to give you praise for. So much to give you thanks for, God. 10,000 tongue is not enough this morning to say thank you for who you are this morning, God, and the things that you continue to do for us, oh God. We thank you. We bless you. We praise you this morning. Lord Jesus, roll back the curtains this morning of memory, God, and show us, oh God, reveal to us, remind us of the things that you have done. So God, a praise will be upon our lips this morning. A praise this morning will be on our tongue. A praise will come from our hearts. Mighty God unto you today, Lord Jesus. Roll back this morning, God. Roll it back. Show us where you brought us from, God. Show us what you have done for us. And let your praises come forth this morning. Hallelujah. We're thankful unto you. And now, Lord, we lift our hands to bless you. We lift our hands to thank you. We lift our hands to praise you. For there is no God like you, Jesus. Hallelujah. My soul magnifies the Lord this morning. And I command my spirit to give it praise. I command my spirit to send up praise. I command my spirit to release praise. I command my spirit this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God to praise the King of Kings. To praise the Lord of Lord. I command my spirit. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. To be focused now. On the King of Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. Glory to His name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I need the all. Yeah. 
each other this morning. I can't tell him how much you need him. All I can tell him is how much I need him. How much I am dependent on him. That's, that's all I can do this morning. You just talk to him for myself. Cry out to him for myself. And I know he said if you call, I will hear. And I will answer. One more time and tell him I need you. I need you, Father.
lifted it up, Lord, with your train. Uh, fill the temple and bow it down and cry, holy, 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 holy is the Lord God Almighty. Plant my feet this morning, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Here I am waiting this morning, Father. Here I am waiting this morning. Here I am waiting. I'm
Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, somebody just lift up your voice this morning. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come live, come live, come live, come live in my mind. Come live in my heart.
of worship. Come on, give him an order of praise this morning. I want to stay in your presence, Lord. That's where I want to be. Hide myself inside your heart. Find my destiny. Just so God to be closer to you. Lord, let me live in your presence this morning. For in the presence of the mighty God, there is joy in the presence of the Lord. There is peace in the presence of my King. Hallelujah. Our tents are mended. Glory to God. Sicknesses are healed. Disease dry up in the presence of a mighty God. Hey, Jesus. Those who are bound are delivered in the presence of the King. The King of Kings that we're talking about this morning. We want to stay in your presence. I want to stay in your presence. I want to live in your presence. I want to walk in your presence. I want to talk in your presence. In my lying down in your presence. In my waking moments in your presence. In my going out, God, in your presence. In my coming in, God, in your presence. On every side this morning, God, I want your presence. Lord, let me live. Lord, let me live. That's where I want to be. That's where I want to be. That is where I want to be. There is no brokenness in His presence. There is no judgment in His presence. Hallelujah. 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 H
Father, let's worship the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Worship the Lord. Lift up holy hands unto him that sitteth upon the throne. Hallelujah. In the midst of the 24 elders.
atmosphere to worship. It's an atmosphere to lay at His feet. Hallelujah. Forever the same, he rolled back the waters of the mighty Red Sea. Hallelujah! Saints, we serve a great God. Hallelujah! I feel like we are in heaven, and we're in a, 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 a throne room where worship is going on. Thank you, Jesus. Worship is going on like a domino effect. There's no space of silence. And all heaven is in holy awe. He who sits on the throne receives the worship that is being offered up unto him and his Father. Mm. Praise your name, Master. Praise your name, Master. Praise your name. Hallelujah. 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 We serve a great God. We serve a great God. I said we serve a great God. Hallelujah. You see, there's time for warfare and there's time for worship. 
Hallelujah. There's a time to prostrate before him. And when you can't utter anything, let the tears talk for you. Let the groanings and the moanings, hallelujah, be interpreted by the Holy Spirit for you. And thank God he can read our hearts. And we don't have to form anything with our lips. Hallelujah. For they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Meaning no hypocrisy. If you're going to worship him, you worship him. You don't do it because you see everybody else do it. You do it because you want to do it. He is here. He is here. He is here. Hallelujah. It is such an honor to be here in his presence. Honestly, I don't know if he's anywhere else visiting any other church. But all I know is that he is here. He's here, covenant keeper. Mm. Hallelujah. In spite the covenant still stands. Hallelujah. The sails may be torn, but the covenant still stands. Your ship may be rocky, but the covenant still stands. Hallelujah. Covenant keeping God. Covenant keeping God. Who's not disturbed, who's not shifted or moved by circumstances and situations. He said it and shall it not come to pass. He decreed it, shall it not work itself out. Because his words shall not return to him unaccomplished. But it must. It must do whatever he said it to do. Hallelujah. That's the kind of God we serve. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Amen. Let me welcome. Amen. Bishop Richards, founder into the house. Amen. Reverend Lady Flemings. Amen. Bishop Dean and Lady Brown. Amen. Deacon. Bent in the house. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Officer Stamaj Free. Amen. The prophetess and intercessors in the house. Praise the name of Jesus. Welcome my wife, Lady Faith. Amen. And Sienna. And everybody that's here to partake and help the service be what it is. Amen. We welcome you. Those joining online, God bless you. Thank you for tuning in. We pray that you feel the same presence in your home that we're feeling here. Amen. And do everything you can to make it in the house. Amen. It's a different type of glory in the house. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm going to be uh, asking Reverend Flemings to come. Amen. To minister to us uh, today. Amen. After which I will come and we'll be with the tithe and the offering afterwards. Amen. Amen. Help me welcome Reverend Flemings to the Hallelujah. Come on, continue to worship the Lord. Come on, it's not about me, it's about Him. Continue to worship the Lord. Glory to God. Let your praise ring out. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. Sweet Holy Spirit, we welcome you. We appreciate your presence. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Liberty All Deliverance Center. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. 
Let me indeed honor my pastor, Pastor Oral Richards. Come on, celebrate the set man of this house. Hallelujah. Co Pastor Faithia Richards, who just led us with the team. Amen in worship. We celebrate you, co pastor. We love you dearly. Our founding bishop, Rupert Richards, Bishop Brown, Lady Brown. Hallelujah, the council of this house. Bless the name of the Lord, the prophetesses, and young prophetess Sienna Richards, and the camera. Oh, we thank God for her. We thank God for Brother Jonathan Crooks and the sound at the back. Yes, we do. And all you wonderful saints of God, I greet you well. Amen. I celebrate Lady Jennifer Flemings, my helpmate. Yes. I celebrate her and I will continue to do so. Amen. And continue to recognize her at every appropriate time that the enemy will know that he has an army to reckon with. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. I'm so privileged on today, saints of God, to stand behind this secret desk one more time and to share that which the Lord has imparted. I am really anticipating great things from God. I have great anticipation. Hallelujah. And so I am looking with that expectation. I thank my pastor for this opportunity again. Amen to share. It's, it's a privilege. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I don't take it lightly. I don't take it for granted. It is a privilege, sir, that you continually open your pulpit. Amen. I don't have a problem to sit and learn and listen. I don't have a problem. But I thank God for the opportunity and the grace that he has given my pastor. Amen. I didn't see this at all. No, Sister Campbell, I thought it was the chef. Amen. It is? Bless the Lord. Good to have you in the house. Amen. Recognition is very important. Your ministry has been blessing myself and my wife greatly. We thank God for you. We continue to pray for your ministry. And is that Prophetess Rochelle? <laughs> Ambassador of God. Come on, woman of God. Come on, put your hands together for her. She's disguising. She's holding on her head. She didn't want me to see. But I, yes. Come on. You're a rose in the garden. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> There's a sweet spirit in the house. I don't know if you're feeling it or you're not feeling it, but there is a sweet spirit of the Lord with us. Amen. <laughs> oh, we thank you, Jesus. <laughs> this is a Stanley Minister of Music. I recognize this. <laughs> Glory to God. I have often said before I share what the Spirit of the Lord has laid on my heart during our communion, our fellowship together. I like to declare and confess, make a confession 
Because I'm so grateful for that which God has done. And so I will confess, I give thanks to the Lord who caused me to have victory all the times. I bless his name for the boldness to stand in the face of great adversity. Through God, I will wait until my change come. For he strengthened me to succeed where others fail. No wind of opposition shall draw me back. For the Lord will paralyze every demon that resists my progress. I give thanks to the Lord for the patient to inherit the promise he had made. I thank the Lord in advance for rewarding my faith in him. I am blessed and highly favored of God. Hallelujah. If you have your Bibles with you, I'm going to ask you to turn to 1 John chapter 1. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. And before I begin to read, before I begin to read this portion of scripture from 1 John, we have to understand as a people that when God sent a word and we gather as a community, sometimes that word is not for us, but it's for somebody on the outside on the hear wave who are listening to what is happening or what God has to say. So sometimes the right no word may not be for one here. But somebody do need to hear the word. But corporately we're going to receive the word because the word is God's word. Amen. Amen. And so 1 John chapter 1 and we run our eyes down to verse 5. This then, this then is the message which we have heard of him. And declare unto you that God is light. And in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. Thank you, Father, your word is already blessed and it will not return void it shall accomplish that we shall send it to do in Jesus name the church say amen. amen amen as I meditate and receive from the Spirit of God the theme I would speak on today is stay in the light Stay in the light. John already declared, and this is the message we have heard from him. And we declare unto you that God is light. And in him is no darkness at all. If we say, that we have fellowship with him 
and walk in darkness, we lie and not the truth. But if we walk in the light, church of God, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Not some sin, but all sin. It doesn't matter what you think your sin is. He cleanses us from all sin. Help me, Holy Ghost. Come on, co-pastor. Sin is sin. But we as a people, we like to put, categorize things. Hallelujah. And we point our fingers. Hallelujah. But oh, blessed be our God. Tell somebody, stay in light. Hallelujah. John again make it clear. He make it explicitly clear. He said in chapter 4, Chapter 5 and verse 13. These things have I written unto you that believeth on the name of the Son of God that he may know that he have eternal life and that he may believe on the name of the Son of God. Hallelujah, Jesus. As we read, we can see John is Resting, hallelujah, he's focusing on the theme of love, light and knowledge. He said, and life is in the warning against years. He's warning the church. Because we love to run with ears. You see, love is a clear evidence. That one is a child of God and a Christian. Love. And lack of love in the king church. That one is in darkness. Think about it. One is in darkness if he can't love. Amen. Because God is love. Yes. God is light. Amen. Hallelujah. John 2 and 9. Hallelujah. He has said that he is in the light and had his brother, hate his brother. He's in darkness. If you hate your brother, you are in darkness. Let me come again. He that said he is in the light and hated his brother, he is in darkness even until now. Doesn't matter if this was written over 2,000 years ago. It applies to me today. In darkness even until now. John, hallelujah, affirm that God is light and fellowship. Uh, with him cause us to walk in the light. Hallelujah. In true fellowship church with one another believers, your fellowship with God and the brethren will enable us to recognize that the anointing of God, hallelujah, hallelujah, false doctrine and the spirit of the Antichrist. When we walk in the light, we can identify a Christian. We can identify that our brother is in fellowship with God. Hallelujah. And he's not false. He's not in a false doctrine. And the 
the light. Every spirit that does not acknowledge that Jesus Christ is God in the flesh is not from God. So many people are confused and disturbed because of so many hearsay. So many occults are turning the minds of God's people, manipulating their minds, brainwashing them. Hallelujah. But if we will just get into the word of God and spend some time with him and ask the comforter to teach us and to open our hearts and our understanding, hallelujah, we will get a knowledge and understanding of who God is. Is every spirit that does not acknowledge that Jesus Christ is God in the flesh is not from God. Somebody needs to hear him today. Not only God is good. But understand his nature is love. His nature is just love. And he is the light. By his very nature, God is against darkness. In the beginning was the word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the beginning, the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. He is the light. By his very nature, he's against darkness. Ah, this darkness that lies within me and within you, church. We can't pretend. Hallelujah. There is some darkness that is hidden within us. Oh, we need to call it out for what it is. Help me, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Darkness within us. Understand, my brothers and my sisters, God is not against me or against you. Hallelujah. God is not against you, my brother. Regardless of your circumstance or your situation, he's not against you. He's against the darkness that want to take you over. But he's not against you. Ah, oh, Jesus, help me, Holy Ghost. God is not against us. You see, he created us for love. Ah, oh, therefore, he's not against us. He's against and the darkness that hinder us from being who he has predestinated us to be. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How to produce the life he wants us to be. Darkness. Stay in the light, my brother. Stay in the light, my sister. Stay in the light, my brother. In the name of Jesus. He wants to ender us from his love. His love produce life. Yes. Hallelujah. In him we live and move and have our being. Yes. Hallelujah. With him being the light we can have fellowship. With him and with other believers. Yes. You see every purpose. Every purpose of light. Hallelujah. Is to set us free from anything that end the fellowship with him. He want the darkness out of us. His love is unconditional. Oh help me Holy Ghost. I said the love of God is unconditional. It's not based on my performance Bishop. It doesn't prove it doesn't based on who I am. It's who I am in Christ Jesus. His love is unconditional.
unconditional. Hallelujah. Not based on performance or goodness on us who is receiving the love. It is based only upon his nature of love. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whomsoever believeth in him should not perish but have life and have it everlasting. Love. Hallelujah. There is nothing you can do or can ever do to receive any more love than we have already received. Oh, hallelujah. Ah, <laughs> I said there is nothing that Flemings can do, hallelujah, to receive any more love than I have already received from the Father. He gave us all. I'm the Holy Ghost. He has proven his absolute and unconditional love church for you and for me. By selfless act of his son Jesus Christ. Die at Calvary. God love for you is not based on your performance. It's based upon who you are. Who we are in Christ. Somebody says stay in the light. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. He created us for lifetime. For a lifetime, he created us. Eternal life. And so when you get an appliance, you get a manual. Hallelujah. And it give you guarantee on whatever you purchase. Hallelujah. Some guarantees that is for a lifetime. Oh, yes, I put a limit. Six months, two years. Uh, hallelujah. So you got to pay some money to get some more time if something goes wrong. But thank God for the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank God he paid the price. He paid the price for me and you so that we can have fellowship with him. All we can have to do, all we need to do is to receive his love. All we have to do, all you have to do, my brothers and my sister, is receive his love. His love is great. Hallelujah. I said his love is great. Our father has for us Hallelujah. The love he had for us is great love. Hallelujah. Though unconditional love, church of God, is free, my brother. It is a costly business. And we need to realize it is a costly business. This unconditional love, yes, it is free, but it's costly. You see, to accept God's gracious gift and dwelling in intimacy will cost you everything. Hallelujah. When we get into relationship with Jesus Christ, hallelujah, it's going to cost us something. When we make that decision, that invite in your name, ah, until that do we die, it's going to cost you everything. Everything costly. So we can have that intimacy, that fellowship that he wants with us. That's closeness. Hallelujah. It's going to cost. And many of us don't want to make the commitment. Hallelujah. We don't want to make no commitment. We don't even want to make commitment to whoever we Help me, Holy Ghost. Praise God. Glory to God. We don't want to make that commitment because we got to give up everything. We got to lay everybody else aside. We have to focus. Our eyes got to be one way. We can't be looking to the left and looking to the right. And all that one look better. 
Oh, that one would have do better. No, you got to be focused and be committed. Amen. It costly. Amen. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. It will cost you like it cost me my pride. Mm -hmm. Ah, you don't want to say, but you better name it. It's going to cost you your pride. Mm. Holy Ghost. Mm. You see, God nature is one of love and light. And as I said, he loves us unconditionally. But because he is light, it will be very difficult for Flemings, you see. Uh, it will be very difficult uh, for me, hallelujah, to choose to walk in darkness. It will be very difficult. Call me Holy Ghost. It will be difficult for me to walk in darkness and maintain fellowship. <laughs> you see, you got to choose to walk. Yes. Or if you choose to walk in darkness and maintain fellowship. In darkness, uh, with God and other relationship, you won't make it. No, it can't work. It never can work. The two can't work. No. You got to make a commitment. I got to make a commitment. You can't walk in darkness and have a relationship. With the true and living God. He is light. <laughs> oh, I said he is light. And as I said church. Sometimes we love to point and pick out. And we're not realizing that. These are the little things. That ender us. That stand in the way. That become a ditch. That becomes a pit. Yes. That becomes our downfall. Because I like you. And I don't like you. And I recognize you. And I don't recognize you. I favor you. And I disfavor you. You could go where you know. Oh, no, 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 no. Church of God. Uh -huh. We are the children of the most high God we are one and God is no respect of a person you see he has no favorite no favorite so how are we in the light or how are you in the light and you favor me and this favor him the truth is not, not in us. And we don't want to hear that. We don't want it to be pointed out. We want it to be covered over. But I stop by to let somebody hear on the hear wave. You cannot walk in darkness and have fellowship with Jesus Christ. You cannot walk in darkness and say you love him. Hallelujah. You see, your darkness will find you out sooner or later. When we are in fellowship one with another, hallelujah, we are walking in the light. Ah, I like this definition of darkness. It says it's like uh, it's like darkness. It's to say darkness is a way out of a moral state where you hide things. You understand that? 
The definition says it set us free. It, it, it's, it's a moral state where I hide things, have secrets. Oh, yes. We have secrets. And the secrets now, church of God, <laughs> it gives the enemy grounds to traffic in our life. The little hatred. The little envying. Mm -hmm. Oh, you name it. Call it out. It gives the enemy a ground to traffic. You know traffic. You just up and down in your life and wreck it. Hmm? You see, darkness is not just a place void of light. No. The fallen angels have been turned out over to darkness. Darkness is also the domain of Satan. Jude, chapter, Jude verse 6. Anywhere we allow, anytime we allow darkness to remain, we can be an open door for the thief to come and steal and kill and destroy. John 10.10 10. Mm -hmm. mm. Kill, steal, and destroy. Wreck havoc. The very thing the enemy wants to take from us is the very thing he lost. <laughs> Prophetess Rochelle I said, the very thing the enemy wants to take from us is the very thing he lost. Amen. Fellowship, Amen. intimacy yes. with God. You want to steal it. Amen. You want to come in and create havoc. And steal it. <laughs> oh yes Jesus. <laughs> yeah. ah, he want to steal. Our time. Our fellowship. Our intimacy with God. Ah, but I come to let us know. Darkness give the enemy ground. Ah, to traffic in our lives. Ah, and to slowly. Slowly drain away our fellowship. Remember one time you have sweet fellowship, sweet communion. Uh, uh, things was going good. But you gave the enemy ground. And he trafficking. And he steal that fellowship. Our intimacy. Our acceptance. And love. Amen. Somebody says, stay in the light. In the light. Walk in the light. in the light. Live in the light. In the light. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. You see, many of us are comfortable with light. And many are found of light. Many despise it because light is rooted in humility. A willingness to be known for who we really are. I'm coming down. You see, I was not too crazy about people knowing the real me. I wasn't crazy. If you know the real me. But darkness. 
Oh yes, darkness. <laughs> How easy it was to hide and make believe yes. and be unreal. Uh-huh. That was once Fleming's. Yeah. I'm talking about walking, staying in the light. We can hide. Huh. Huh. But one who loved the darkness that was rooted in pride be more concerned with what man thought than what God thought. I was more concerned, Bishop, of what you think of me or what you thought about me. Huh? Yeah. I was so concerned about that. No, I got to be this around you. Huh? Yes, co pastor, I have to be a needle and pin. Because I am so oh, Kopasa thought so well. I can't afford her to be disappointed. Ah, uh, but I wasn't concerned. Oh God, seize me because I was in darkness. But I saw the light. I'm no more in darkness. No more inside. I am so happy. I saw the light. I saw the light. I saw the light. No more in darkness. Let's 
for the blood. I said, thank him for the blood. The blood of Jesus. So Paul concluded, and Paul says in Romans 8, there, therefore now, Therefore no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. Stay in the light. Stay in the light. My brothers and my sisters on the here wave Get rid of the unconfessed sin. The ones that are hidden in the heart. Get rid of them. So you can walk in the light. Romans 13 and I close. The night is for spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Let us <laughs> it is corporately, eh? Let us walk As in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in covering and wantonness, not in strife and envy, but put, <laughs> put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Stay in the light. Stay in the light, church. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, talk to somebody. Tell them, stay in the light. Don't stay in the darkness. Don't go in the darkness. Stay in the light. The night, the day is for spent, church. We just coming out of a pandemic. I understand that on tomorrow... All the signs will be taken down. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. Things are going to go back to normal. Are you going to still stay in the dark? Or are you going to go in the light? Are you going to turn it to Jesus? Or are you going to continue on your whole path? The call has been made. Jesus is Lord of Lord. He's King of Kings. He's a conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. There is none unlike him. There is none to be compared with him. He sits high, he looks low. He knows the content of our heart. He knows our thoughts of our heart. He knows our lying down and our rising up. Nothing is hidden from him. After he being so merciful, so loving, so kind, and brought us through this pandemic where so many thousands have lost their lives. Some ministries, some churches don't have a congregate anymore. Some have closed their doors, nailed them up permanently. But God has been faithful to us. God has been good to us. No one of us have been passed on because of COVID. No one of us, mighty God. We were still able to minister to each other. We were still able to be on the here wave. We are still able until this day. Isn't God a good God? Isn't he a merciful God? How could we stay in darkness?
We have a ministry. We have a pastor. Amen. We have leaders yes. that minister the word. Yes. Hallelujah. Sometimes the word is harsh. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. But if you take it and rub it and nurse it, yes. you will see do you good. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. But the Bible says some people rather the darkness than the light. Hallelujah. And when people's minds are made up and set out to do what they want to do, oh, it's hard for you to dictate and say anything because they already done it in their mind. Oh, there's nothing much you can do. Hallelujah. You see, many people, Sunday from Sunday, they go to church, they go to conferences, and they hear the word of God expound. Oh, by the messenger, by the pastor. Hallelujah. And they got their deliverance. They get help. Oh, they feel good at the moment. But they return. And they continue in the same old path. They go right back into the darkness. Hallelujah. There is no transformation. Because the word was rooted and grounded in their heart. The word must transform us. The word must correct us. The word must rebuke us. But oh my God, we are a people. We don't want the truth. We want somebody to dilute it. I oh, let it sound the way that I want it. Oh, don't preach like that. Don't holler like that. Oh, just be so quiet. The devil is a liar. God has gifted the body of Christ. Amen. We thank God for the set man of this house, Amen. our pastor, who has taught or teach us the word. Yes. I said he has taught and teach us the word. Amen. Hallelujah. You see, we were prepared before the pandemic. We have been taught here in Bible class. Uh, Minister Simmons thought here in Bible class. I thought here in Bible study. We have been given the word. And because we hid it in our heart, we were able to survive and go through the turmoil and the storm. Amen. So we can't say we were not taught. We haven't heard sound words from Almighty God throne. It's gonna cost you. It's gonna cost us as we make the commitment to stay in the light. Hallelujah. Blessed be God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I have delivered. Hallelujah. I'm not going to have what the Spirit of God did not give me. Hallelujah. I said, I have delivered the word of Almighty God. Hallelujah. There's a song that I thought of singing this morning. And if you will stand with me as my pastor come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We will walk with the Lord in the light of his word. What a glory he shed on our way. While we do his good will, he abide with us still. All we could and still to trust and obey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When we walk with the Lord in the light of his word, what a glory he shed on our way. While we do Trust and obey. Not a 
as ministers take pastor off in the office. Minister Simon, please come and close us. follow the program. The program dictates what comes next. But here we are engaged in prayer for our pastor. And we're going to join that prayer. We're going to ask Bishop Brown to lead us into that prayer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Everyone, we're going to engage in prayer. Hallelujah. As children of the light, we're going to engage the darkness. For when the light comes, the darkness must flee away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, thank you once again for allowing us to come into a house this morning. We thank you for your presence, Lord God. We thank you for your Son. We thank you for the gift of your Holy Spirit, Lord God. And as we talk together, Lord God, as we talk together in prayer, Lord, as we open our hearts to you, Lord, and our call to you, Lord God, I pray that, Lord, your Holy Spirit will work in our midst, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, that you are now. I pray, Lord, touch each and every person in this building, in this room, right now, Lord God. I pray that the glory of heaven, Lord God, the healing spirit that was present on the days after Pentecost, Lord God, I pray that they will be feeling your presence, Lord, your people will be feeling your presence and touching your Holy Spirit right now, Lord God. I pray that your Holy Spirit will flow from the roof right down to the very foundation of this building, Lord, in every heart, in every spirit, Lord God, in every person, Lord God, in every area of this building, Lord, I pray that you will lift up your standard against the enemy even now, Lord God. I pray that, Lord, you will declare your word in this place, Lord God. I pray that, Holy Spirit, you will pour out your healing power right now, Lord God. I pray wherever a healing touch is needed right now, as the hands of your saints and elders are laid upon them, Lord, I pray that your Holy Spirit will fill them, fill through them, Lord God. Re-energize their body, re-energize their mind, re-energize their heart, re-energize their spirit, Lord God. I pray that even as the preacher has spoken about light and darkness, I pray that your light will permeate every avenue of this place, Lord God, every corner, every hidden place. In the name of Jesus, let the light of your spirit fall in there. And I pray, Lord, that you will chase away the darkness, chase away the evil one. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, let your name be declared in this place, Lord. Let your name be glorified in this place right now, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, so that when we leave this place, each and every person, Lord God, will know that you have been present, Lord. Your word says that when they brought the sick amongst you, all were healed. And I pray for that today, Lord, that all will receive your healing in your name, not my name, Lord. Your name, Jesus, in your name. We declare this and grace us in Jesus' name.
Lord declares it. The Lord declares it. By His Word, by His Spirit, by His Son, the Lord declares it. Lord, so even as your word has spoken it, Father, I pray that your Holy Spirit will flow into this man right now, Lord God. I don't know where the, the battle is, but I pray, Lord, that your holy angels will pour in right now, Lord. Your Holy Spirit will invigorate this man. Where, where, where is it? Where is the... Where are you feeling the In the name of Lord, I pray even right now, Lord, as he touches those areas, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you will revitalize them, Lord God. Every part, front, back, bottom, Lord God, the soles of his feet, his legs, his hands, his whole person. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Not because of my word, Lord God. Not because of my voice, but by your spirit, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. Lord, rebuke the enemy even now. Rebuke him, Lord. Rebuke the evil one, Lord. Free him, Lord God. Free his mind, his spirit, his body, his whole person. In the name of Jesus. We believe, Lord God. We are following your word. We're trusting you, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. Strength to this man. Strength to this man. Strength to your servant, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. Strength to him. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, Lord God. Revitalize every part, Lord God. Every muscle, every sinew. Fall, Lord God. These bones can live, Lord God. These bones can live, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. In your name, Jesus. In your name, Jesus. Whatever was sent, Lord God. Whatever evil was sent, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Lord, send it back. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. More work to be done, brother. In the name of Jesus. More work to be done. More work to be done. More, more hands to be gathered. In the mighty name of Jesus. You may feel tired, but it's not over yet. No, not In the done name of Jesus. yet. You'll know where God is going to call people from, which will people who will need to hear your voice, to hear your declaration, to hear your testimony, to see the power of God move through your body, to hear the music you play, to hear and feel the anointing of God flow through you. So we will not give in to the enemy. We will not release you to him in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Are there any other elders here in, in this room who are not standing right here right now? Is there any other elder who's not here? Like, let me rephrase. Is there any elder who is in this building who is not standing right here right now? If you are an elder or a deacon in this building, I need you up here right now. Right now, right now, right here, right now, come in here, come gather around your pastor. This is your place, this is your role. The Bible declares it. If there's any sick among you, call the elders, let them pray for you. This is your place. This is not going to happen because of pastor and pastor. Elders, you must come forward. People, when you hear the call of God, you must come forward when God calls you. You must get up out of your seat and move and pray whatever he is prompting you to do according to his word. You must do it. We are in a battle. It is a battlefield. Come. 
If you have faith and you believe that the word of God is true and you believe the word of God for your pastor, come join us here. Come gather around your elders. If you believe, come. So that we will lift up our brother in faith. We will lift him up believing the word of God. And when he said, by his stripes, we are healed. That declaration, that word is true for your brother right now. By Jesus' stripes, healing is available to him. Brother Oro, you've been in this place before. The Lord has raised you up before. He will raise you up again. He will raise you up again.